Hello everyone and welcome to my very first tutorial. My name is Marek and I'll be building a Django project with you using Django REST framework and React. The project will be focusing on data analysis and visualization. Django, REST APIs and React. These are becoming some of the most popular frameworks for developing web services, partially because of their capability and flexibility, but also because they are using some of the most popular languages on the market, which are Python and JavaScript. These are some of the most popular languages on the market. People are learning them because they are very novice friendly and they're pretty powerful at the same time. And it kind of makes sense to start with, with those languages. So what is behind them? Um, with Django, we are going to practice Python and learn some tricks here and there. We're going to use PyCharm, which is a great IDE for developing uh, with Python and Django. Postgres is a database that we are going to use at some point with Django, which is very, very popular as well. HTML, CSS and JavaScript will be used for manipulating some of the bootstrap templates that I'm going to download and implement into this project. And for data analysis, we'll use OpenPY Excel as well as Pandas for going through Excel files and getting the information out, processing, so then we can use it for visualization. With React, we are going to look at JavaScript, Redux and Chart.js. Well, Chart.js actually we're going to use also with Django only before we implement React, but then we're going to use it with React. And let's not forget about very important kind of less sexy technologies that we're going to look at, which is Git, GitHub, AWS and Heroku. Git is something that you need to know whatever you want to develop. As a programmer, everyone uses Git these days, and I don't see how you can you can become a programmer without the knowledge of Git. It's a very simple tool, but it's very powerful in, in its own simplicity, and it's very important to know it. GitHub is only a bucket for Git, but I suppose it's, it's good to know one of them as well. So then AWS is for cloud deployment. Companies are moving away from having their own hardware, and it's so much more flexible to deploy their software on AWS. And Heroku is something that makes it so much easier. So we're going to look at a very simple deployment using AWS and Heroku. Additionally to that, I'm going to test my new MacBook Pro using M1 processor, which is a very new processor from Apple, which uses ARM architecture. And there's a lot of people who would like to buy this machine and would like to put their hands on it. But the problem is M1 processor and ARM architecture might have some problem with the compatibility. So we're going to see if we have any problems while using the tech that you can see in the background or many other libraries that we might come across. And if we do, we're going to try to figure out some workarounds. OK, so who is the tutorial for? Um, as long as you know some basics of Python, HTML, CSS and JavaScript, the languages that we'll be using here, uh, well, Python way more than HTML and CSS, but still some basics of HTML, CSS are desirable. JavaScript, at some point, we're going to move towards React. So it's good to know JavaScript before you continue with React. And ideally, you will know some of the basics of object-oriented programming, such as classes, inheritance or polymorphism. Uh, because at some point we will start building class-based views in Django and that's where you might get a bit confused when looking at some of the code. So it's good to at least get, get some uh, crash course or something on OOP before moving on with Django. So there's quite a bit of tech that we're going to look at, but don't worry, we're going to take our time, go through it slowly so every topic gets enough attention for you to at least understand the basics of it. Okay, so are you ready for this great adventure? Let's get cracking. See you in the next video.